All right, guys, I'm here at the shop uh, trying to get this big, uh, I think it's like a 16 gallon fuel tank installed and plumbed up to the pressure washer. That way, you know, my tech doesn't have to be filling up the five gallon, letting the machine die on the job. All right, sneeze. Ah, oh, thank you. Uh, and instead, he can just um, fill up once at the beginning of the day and then get rolling. So here's where I am so far. Just kind of mocked up where that guy's gonna go. Uh, I also have someone building us a skid right now. So that we'll eventually be up here on a shelf, I think. Um, but this is an okay temporary spot. Kind of has to go under the hoses and around this, you know, uh, outlet hose or around the uh, bypass hose. So right now I'm just kind of trying to take this fuel line off of the carburetor over here. I went ahead and pinched this clamp right there and I'm trying to rip it off the bar right now, but I think I can, I think I need to have two hands. So I'm gonna drain everything into this little tank that I have right here, and then I'll check in with you guys in a minute. All right, I had a little bit of spillage, but we got it eventually. If you guys are having trouble with this, just get some like, uh, I use these uh, flat, like long nose um, pliers and stuck them in there and grabbed that uh, clamp fitting right there and then slid it all the way up and then use those same pliers to push, kind of push like the uh, hose off of the barb. So this will probably take a little while to drain. I'll see if I can set up a good spot for, you know, so, so I can just walk away and work on something else, wash my hands while it drains, but we'll see. All right, after like 10 minutes of struggling with it, I realized this thing is probably like totally full. And I was like trying to stop the flow and then go grab the tape and then go grab a towel. But it was like way more difficult than it needed to be. So now I'm just gonna clean off you know, anywhere we had some spillage, which is pretty much everywhere. I go wash my hands as this thing dries. But uh, next I have to go grab, I don't have any fuel line here. I have to go grab some fuel line and I'll just have to run it from the outlet right here the machine all right so that's all done draining just about um and i just had an idea i was gonna go across the street and get some hose but this stuff kind of looks like the same shit i just almost ate it kind of looks like the same size as this water fed pole hose that we have so maybe i mean i don't know i don't see how it could be a bad thing to use this. Let me bring it over and see if it fits. Like, I don't, I don't know what's special about fuel line. Uh, it looks close. I think it's a little bit smaller. Let me try to put it on this barb and see. I'll let you guys know. All right, I forgot that I gotta get a fitting anyway, like a little barb right there. So I guess, uh, you know, I'll just get the regular fuel hose. <laughs> I, I wonder if there's anyone watching this right now. It's like, Oh, thank God, because there's, like, something special about fuel hose. I don't know. But this guy's just about all the way drained out. It's 840 right now, 845. So I'll clean up a little bit, wait for the hardware store to open at about 9, uh, and then I'll head over and grab what I need. All right, I'm on my way to uh, AutoZone right now. I actually had to – I forgot my wallet at home, so I had to stop home instead of just going right across the street to that hardware store there. So I've got a little piece of the hose as well that I can compare – to the to the fuel hose you know at the store so we'll see am i in portrait mode what the hell um but also i don't know if you guys can see that little guy back there on the window i don't think i've showed you the new wrap yet so i'll show you when i get out also we're way delayed because i was making another coffee at the shop right before i left and the curing machine broke so i was on the phone with them and they're sending me a new one it took me like 30 minutes the whole process so a little bit of a delay Bags right here. There's the new rat, Hydro Man. So I got everything I need, installed everything. Went ahead and ran the uh, line from this barb that I installed over to the carburetor, which is right in there. Clipped it into that clip that was already on the machine. Taped this guy up for now. We'll do something more permanent soon. Maybe even add like a three way so we can decide which or so we can select which uh, tank we pull from but I also tested it and this thing works perfectly it was drawing the gas put four eye screws in with uh, little motorcycle straps mounted down this tank and uh, we're good to go I'm not sure if that fuel thing is working 
didn't budge much more over empty, even though there's like, you know, a couple gallons of fuel in there, but I don't know, we'll say it's a 12 gallon tank, so pretty big tank. There's a lot of buffer zone, probably. Um, but yeah, this is what we're working with now. Still got room to stick the uh, surface cleaner in there, any window cleaning equipment, all that kind of stuff. And like I said, we're building that skid right now, so hopefully that's done in the next couple weeks. That's, that's it for this one, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed. Maybe you learned something. Maybe you saw your own fuel tank now. Uh, but subscribe, keep watching me grow my business, and uh, power washing tips and tricks, how to grow your company, all that kind of good stuff. Peace.